This one is Puget Sound oil spills. Parker McCready is the lead developer of Live Ocean, a new computer model that uses information from tides, rivers, and wind to simulate how water bodies like Puget Sound will be affected. If you look carefully, you can see these little black dots moving around. They start here near Tacoma and here near Seattle and they flow with the currents. That is, they follow the motion of where water is going. One of the main uses will be for oyster growers who are increasingly challenged by ocean acidification. Dissolved carbon in the water makes it tougher for young oysters to grow a shell. When that number gets below about 1.5, and especially down below one, then it's hard or impossible for larval oysters to form shells and so that's so the red water is all bad for oysters. I think that the more people understand something the more they want to take care of it they feel a sense of ownership they feel a sense of fascination and that's what we're really going for. Jan Newton is an oceanographer at the University of Washington who studies changing ocean conditions but wants people outside of academics to see what she does. Increasing what we call the ocean literacy of, of the citizens of Washington State. We live next to the coast, we live next to the Salish Sea, Puget Sound, and yet so many people don't really understand how it works. This model helps people look at that. Get up, look at the weather forecast, get up, look at the live ocean forecast. The project, funded by state and federal groups like NOAA, took 15 years to complete, but McCready says it's worth it. That's why we care to preserve those resources, and so our ability to do that better is it's going to help us conserve our ecosystem. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.